What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. As you see here on your screen, this is an email that one of the competition winners for this uh or for that competition that they had going on. One of the first and supposedly many to come i i think this is going to be the last that's just me only because i still just have a lot of lack of confidence in these people but uh shout out to you troy <laughs> you got this email sent to you because you were one of the contest winners and it said dear troy thank you for entering the first official jeepers creepers reborn competition i'm emailing you from back in studios and please to inform you that you are the runner-up you have won an exclusive illuminated poster composed of individual strips uh, supplied on behalf of our partners CPC London please provide us with your delivery address so that we can arrange the shipping congratulations and speak soon so this was sent to Troy again shout out to you who communicated to me to confirm that you know this competition was indeed something that was followed up with it was indeed, indeed legit they were legit winners because I know a lot of people had some red flags go off given the lawsuit that was found and then going back and finding that competition and noticing that of course these winners just conveniently didn't have social media accounts to be tagged in so it's nice to know that the competition was legit troy was also kind enough to share pictures of the poster he received so i'm glad this competition was legit i'm glad you got your poster hope you enjoy it and hopefully if this movie does indeed release this year hopefully you enjoy that movie as well so when it comes to jeepers creepers reborn and its release date because that's the other thing we're going to talk about this movie again has been told to us by timo that it will be releasing this fall or not this fall but this year 2022 now shout out to you as blakely timo who always of course gets messages from fans responded to uh again shout out to you as blakely stating that the movie is going to be released this year and he stated the response to him was i know you can't say when but can you at least give a hint as to when it should be released timo responded with in the fall now of course this is from instagram the fact of the matter is i think i've already talked about a fall release not for the states but for the for australia because australia has a release date set for october 6. i've actually reached out to my contact to confirm that that is still the release date through the rialto distribution out there for jeepers creepers 4 and the distributor that's handling it in australia the date still is october 6. so could october 6 end up being the date that the states gets it as well there is a chance for that my contact in australia responded to me recently and said that jeepers creepers was born is still on release schedule for october 6 through the rialto distribution we have only been supplied a teaser poster no other assets no not a runtime or a screener we'll definitely keep you in the loop however sounds like there's a lot going on behind the scenes with this one so that's the that's the method in which i'm hoping i'll be getting to watch this movie i really do not want to see jeepers creepers 4 in theaters anymore i'm just being honest i'd rather just get a screener for it and just watch it like that and come on here and do my spoiler review spoiler free review also i guess at the same time a lot of you probably wouldn't even want to go out of your way to see this movie given the stuff that you're probably seeing online about the director and a lot of the stuff that went on with iron sky and the supposed thing that that's probably what's going on with jeepers creepers are born of course we will probably never have a definitive answer if a tax rebate scam is what's going on but again a shout out to you trevor who worked with the director over on the iron sky films providing a lot of receipts for things that he's claiming about the director and going into how there was a lot of con schemes going on and thinking that it might seem that they're doing that here with Jeepers Creepers Reborn but we'll see I honestly yes would just prefer to watch this movie at home through a free screener link versus paying money to potentially fund something that is fraudulent or being fraudulently done now the other thing that needs to be talked about is this court or this ongoing lawsuit which there was an update because there was a trial that went on on the 18th which i believe was yesterday yeah they had a trial yesterday or a hearing yesterday i guess you could say and some new details came out and some new things came out from the cross complaint in that case it would be screen media ventures and jake seal and i guess infinity films holding inc and all of the producers with Jeepers Creepers 4, I guess, factored in. They're alleging that the cross defendant, who was the original plaintiff who brought them to the lawsuit and brought them into this hearing, Myriad Pictures, stating that Myriad and Kirk Domenko didn't have a valid or enforceable right to worldwide distribution rights of Jake Seals' Jeepers Creepers movie. But they and they knew this 
And so what they did was in 2019, it's also alleged further in this court hearing, apparently it was alleged that in 2019, Myriad spoke with Screen Media and misrepresented having rights in order to induce Screen Media to not deal with producer Jake Seal. Now, Jake Silligan is one of the producers I've already talked about in a previous video. The thing about it is, even if this is true, who again, how did Jake Seal get the rights to do this movie? That's the that's the big question here. How do you have the authority to do this? I don't think we're ever going to find that out. But of course, that would involve something with Victor Salva, I believe, um, or something else that went on during the production of Jeepers Creepers 3 that allowed them to go on and do this movie. Because now it's being alleged that Myriad and Kirk Domenico never had an enforceable right or a valid right to worldwide distribution to Jake Seal's new Jeepers Creepers movie. So Myriad argued that that was an insufficient statement, but their motion to strike was ultimately overruled in this hearing that took place yesterday. And now there's nothing that's been updated as far as like saying that there's going to be a trial in 2024. So the movie coming out this year, however you decide to watch it is how you decide to watch it. I just know that a lot of people still knowing the stuff coming out about a lot of the potential things going on and why they're doing this movie and the tax incentives that they seem to hype up on their website for the oral film distribution knowing the ins and outs of what happened with the iron sky movies and some of the con schemes that went on there uh, other lawsuits going on and how these people just seem to always be involved with something related to a courtroom screen media included it seems like a lot of people are going to make a decision to say you know what i'm not going to pay any money to fund an ongoing potential illegal activity that's just what it's going to be for a lot of people because i have already made it clear i would rather watch this movie in the comfort of my home through a screener link which i have hope now at this point that's what will happen because with us not having a court date that's been announced going on again this year seems like this movie will actually release this year but i still have my doubts something in me is just telling me this isn't coming out this year and we'll find out some more details hopefully at another court hearing that takes place this year but we'll see what happens uh let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.